This, this right here. Yeah, it's good. Hell, I'd say it's amazing. As a matter of fact, Gen 9 is the best gen in the series hands down. Enough time has passed, and this is just a fact. Fight me. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, it was just a prank bro, calm down. Put the pitchforks away you Gen 2 and Gen 5 fans. Obviously, Scarlet and Violet aren't the best generation of Pokemon games. The games left a lot to be desired, and were far less thrilling than they seemed when a true open world Pokemon game was announced. Not to mention the amount of bugs and glitches players came across during their playthrough. Heck, even if we just forget about Gen 9, ever since the mainline games in 3D way back in 2013, there are a majority of fans saying there's been a drop in quality. Okay, I say all this, so why am I making this video? Well, I think the Marty games get just too much hate. I think all you grandmas and grandpas just can't keep up with the times, man. And while all of you are screaming at me in your senior homes, I'm gonna tell you why I'm right. So sit back, relax, and try not to destroy your screen while we dive into the world of modern Pokemon goodness. Okay, so before we get into the quote unquote downfall of Pokemon games, we'll just cover quickly a brief background of the games before they went 3D and effectively pissed off 90% of the fanbase. So, the first Pokemon games came out in Japan in 1996 and were later released across the rest of the world in 1998. As you already know, the games were a hit and birthed the most popular media franchise in the entire world. Up until Gen 6 with X and Y, the games were always 2D. No matter what you thought about these games at the time, they have all gone down as goats of the series. They build the series up for each new generation to make the Pokemon that we know today. Some of these even cost more than the consoles they're being played on. Anyways, like I was saying, it wasn't until X and Y that the games went 3D, and right off the bat, there was something that just didn't sit right with fans. You see, throughout the early Pokemon games, there was a clear evolution and change within the art style. It gave each new game a different style and made it feel more brand new. With the switch to 3D, however, the sprites were being reused across multiple different titles and made everything look the same and bland. I mean, I personally don't really have a problem with it, but I can see how this can affect the experience of longtime fans. Anyways, that's the main gist of things and only the start of the many complaints to come. With Gen 6, there were many changes that fans didn't seem to sit right with. For starters, the difficulty. I'm sure you're aware, but X and Y brought an insane boost to the EXP share with them. It became something that every Pokemon in your party had access to. Among other things, this really made fans feel like the game they were playing was made for babies. And yeah, I agree. The games hereafter are pretty easy. I mean, I don't recall having any trouble with battles in any of the modern Pokemon games. But that wasn't the only problem. The regions weren't the same either. Kalos, for example, felt small and there were so many barriers on places where you could explore. Galar and Paldea, on the other hand, were big for most of the region, but also empty. The towns in Gen 9 felt like it was deserted. There weren't much interaction with NPCs, and most of the buildings you couldn't even enter. I can't really talk about Sun and Moon since I haven't played it yet, but I think you can understand what I mean to say with just the stuff that I've listed out here. It's obvious that Pokemon hasn't been the same since the glory days of being two-dimensional. Wait, so were you guys right? Is this truly the downfall of Pokemon games? No. Despite everything I've said, and every complaint that has been listed out, I still think that modern Pokemon games aren't as bad as many people make them out to be. For starters, let's talk about the difficulty of the newer games. There's no doubt that there isn't much struggle in battles for players, but I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. I have two main reasons for why I think this. One, these less challenging games can appeal to a younger audience and attract new and more casual players. And two, the lack of struggle has brought many fans together and massively boosted the challenge community. People looking for a tougher battle have done challenges like Nuzlocke's and only using a certain Pokemon to make the games harder. And with this difficulty of the base game being so low already, a lot of casual players can also feel less anxious to try these challenges for themselves. Challenges like this have been around for a while, but the newer games have only made them much more accessible and popular. This isn't the only point to be made on why the newer games are overhated though. While Sword and Shield didn't give us a riveting story, it did give us a glimpse into what the Pokemon world would look like in a more expansive manner. The open areas of the game featured many different types of Pokemon roaming around. This wasn't perfect, but it did lay the groundwork down for newer titles such as Scarlet and Violet and Legends Arceus, which both definitely improved on it. And not only did these two games build off the open world aspect, but they both had decent stories. Legends Arceus gave us a plot that had never been seen before in Pokemon, and Scarlet and Violet's story was just honestly better than I thought it would have been. It does still follow the same battle gems and defeat the whole evil team story, 
but it does break them up into their own storylines which gives them more of a whole and complete feeling. There aren't many characters that you can interact with, but the ones that you can give you some heartfelt moments. Just as an example, talking with the school nurse, we see that she actually wanted to be a teacher but has long given up on that dream. But after she talks with us for a few times, she gets influenced by her journey and finds a determination to once again try to become what she set out to be before and succeeds. This game does a good job of fleshing out a lot of the characters and making them feel more real. This isn't something that happens a lot throughout the Pokemon games, so it's great to see in Scarlet and Violet. The modern games also gave us a lot of great Pokemon, Gen 6 and Gen 9 especially. A lot of the Pokemon in Gen 6 to Gen 9 have great designs. Most Pokemon fit their environment and add to the overall experience of exploring the world. That being said, there were also some designs that weren't the best, but I think overall, the Pokemon we got from the games were good. It might be nostalgia blinding me, but I remember liking a lot of the Gen 6 Pokemon I caught while playing X. And Scarlet and Violet's roster is just overall solid. The designs for the new Pokemon were great, and the new evolutions for old Pokemon were good too. Gen 9 even gave the Pokemon a more real look, with a lot of attention to detail. You can see scales and fur on a lot of the Pokemon. All in all, I think the newer generations of games did a decent job with giving us good Pokemon. Listen, the newer games aren't perfect. They did a lot wrong, missed a ton of things, and made a lot of people angry, but they are far from being bad. They also got many things right, and I think people tend to gloss over that fact when talking about them. I believe that the true reason the games are talked about so negatively is the fact that they aren't the same games that fans might have grown up playing. They've changed into something different. I mean, if you look at Red and Blue and compare it to Scarlet and Violet, you can hardly see any resemblances in a lot of aspects. And I could kind of understand why people might not like that change. They loved the game and the series for what it was before and how it did things in the past, and to take that away makes it feel like a completely different thing. But I think the fact that they have changed is a good thing. It means that the series is in a new era and is evolving. Yeah sure, the modern Pokemon games aren't perfect, but they have been improving on aspects within each game. Imagine the next two generations. They might have perfected the open world aspect and the difficulty of battles. The modern games out right now are just stepping stones for the future of the series, and I can't wait for the next step to be taken.